is Kyle Versport, and I'm just going to make a uh, quick little video to show you a, a slight workaround for adding a uh, Y intercept of zero. So, this is in Google Sheets, which it's not like Excel. There's not just a button you can click, and boom, you're setting your Y intercept as zero. But there is a workaround for it. So, here we're just doing a little density. I just made up um, three uh, sample data points. So that's your X and your Y column. Um, the way Google Sheets is programmed, it will auto-generate um, charts. And if you put your X in the first column and your Y in the next, it will do it properly on the uh, axes. And that's because it's just going alphabetical order X, Y, Z. Now the extra thing is um, we're actually just making two plots on the same graph. So that's the workaround here. So you're going to graph your data and then you're going to put a second uh, trend line graph and I already know that one of my trend lines uh, points have to be zero zero so to get a straight line we just need two points so all we need to do is calculate what that would be so here's the workaround you hit equals because Google Sheets is going to do a calculation for you and you start typing in um, linear estimate or linest for short and you can see best fit linear trend um, pops up so you click that and it, it will tell you here if you click the question mark what to type in. So up here it says the known data for Y, comma, the known data for X. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to pick my Y data, highlight it, then I'll hit comma, oops, get that out of the way. Then I do X, and then the last thing you do is just type in a zero, and then close your um, parentheses there. So this is taking all your Y data and your X data. It's going to calculate um, the equation with a intercept, a Y intercept of zero. And then you hit enter, and it does it for you. So this is giving you two numbers. Notice it populated in two spots. So this is your Y equals MX plus B, and it's saying Y equals, and the M value is right above it, so I'll round this to 2.67, and then it's doing plus B and the other column there is your B which is 0 and that's your Y intercept so that's what this is giving you here so it's giving us this equation so to make our straight line uh, we have this is set and then another point oops look at me I forgot to put the X in here and I was a physics teacher unbelievable so let's set, uh, set X equal to 1 because that's um, and that would make y equal to 2.67. So now that's all the extra work. Everything else we have to do is simple. So we'll click and highlight all our data, just like we were making any other chart. And I'll hit chart. It makes one for me. It's color coded because there's two sets of data being graphed. I'll change the title. I'll just make it uh, verse volume. You can make it density, I guess, if you'd like. Um, I'm going to adjust these. That's a little close for me. So I'll make the maximum value 30. Ah, that looks better. All right, so now to add our line, we're going to click the red points because those are the trend line points. Anyway, you could get to it by clicking the points or by hitting series and then make sure you're just in the trend ones. Um, and then you can hit trend line, leave it as linear, label with the equation, show R squared. And you'll see here it goes right through the um, zero, zero origin there. You could also, if you wanted to change it a little bit, you could get rid of the dots by having the font point size of them be zero or none. Um, so they're gone. And if you really wanted to, you could even just make this the same color blue. Um, I kind of like red, it stands out a little bit. Um, and this is just in contrast, if you were to look at this original trend line, it would not have a Y intercept. See, it misses by a little bit of uh, zero. So this is what the workaround is. Oh, there we go. So there's your uh, workaround for it. Again, a few extra clicks because you need to manually calculate it. This is the step that clicking that button in Excel does. It does it automatically, but um, it still works and you can get your graph. All right, I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions. All right.
Have a good one.